In this experiment we're going to try to obtain pure salt from rock salt. Here's our sample of our rock salt. You can see it looks a little bit sandy. Uh, we're going to first of all dissolve that in water, so we're going to add some water to it. See the one or two pine needles in our sample. And to make sure that it all dissolves, we're going to warm it up. That will help the dissolving, make it a little bit quicker. So we just put it on the tripod and gauze, warm it up with the uh, Bunsen burner and we stir. Obviously not pure water in that beaker. The next process is to filter and we're just going to fold here, show you how to fold a filter paper so that the filtering is more efficient. And to make it more efficient you need more surface area on the filter paper when you're using it. So here we are folding it in a fan shape, so you fold it in half and half again and then you open it up and you create this fan uh, as you've been shown here. So once you've got the fan, so you see it nicely folded, one more, one more fold, two more folds, nearly there. Okay, so now it's been folded. If we now open it up, we have like a fan, but we can now open it up so that we've got the filter paper so that we can actually use it to filter. That will fit nicely into our filter funnel. So we just place it into a filter funnel and we pour our solution in there and there will be a greater surface area doing the filtering. So this has been warming up now and hopefully the salt has dissolved. We need to leave this to cool for a while before we actually filter. It's going to be a little bit too hot. So we'll turn the Bunsen burner off and leave it to cool for a minute or two until it's safe to handle. Okay, so we turn the Bunsen burner off now and put the uh, the beaker safely on the desk so that we can filter it. So now it's cooled down so it's uh, safe to handle and we can pour it through the filter paper and as you can see we're getting a, a clear solution a little bit of condensation appearing inside the conical flask because the, the liquid is still quite warm. So we're collecting the filtrate in a clean conical flask and that's what we're going to be using for the next part of the experiment. This is what's left, that's the sandy mixture that was left that didn't go through the filter paper and there will be some already on the filter paper as well there. So there's the clear liquid that we've obtained, that's called the filtrate, and that's the residue, the residue we're not interested in in this particular experiment. So we're going to pour the filtrate into an evaporating basin, so when it goes nice and clear, and then we're going to heat that on the Bunsen burner with a blue flame, uh, so fairly gently. Uh, we've got to remove most of the water. So We'll heat that up for quite a while now to allow the water to evaporate and leave the salt solution behind. As the water evaporates you may see crystals start to form around the edge. Uh, with a glass rod you can push those crystals back into the solution so that they dissolve. You probably need to, dis to remove about two-thirds of the water here at this stage uh, so that the crystallization is quite rapid. So here we're just pushing the crystals back into the solution so that they uh, re-dissolve and we end up with a saturated solution, a solution that won't dissolve anymore. We can test to see if it's ready to crystallize by just taking the glass rod out, the wet glass rod out, and having a look to see if there are crystals forming on the glass rod. So here's the glass rod, we just have a look at it and they weren't forming very quickly so we keep doing that and eventually you'll get to a position where the crystals form quite quickly on the end of the glass rod there, it sort of frosts over. At that point we've reached crystallization point and we can turn the Bunsen off and allow it to crystallize. So once they start to form, the crystals start to form fairly quickly, we'll turn the Bunsen burner off. So not quite ready yet, but we're getting very close now. And 
nearly there, I think. So you can see it's now cl clouding over very quickly. So we're quite happy with that now. And we're going to turn the Bunsen burner off and allow it to cool. Bunsen burner goes off. At this point, this is really quite hot, so be very careful with the evaporating basin. You see we've got the tongs there on the side so we can safely lower this down. Uh, not really see the crystals very well here, but after a while there's the crystals that have started to form and if we leave it for a, uh, a few hours uh, the crystals will form quite nicely. So we'll just try and get some out so that you can see this a little bit more clearly. So we place a few of the crystals onto the clock glass. Uh, pour it all on there and the slower the crystals form the bigger the crystals will be if you form crystals quickly they tend to be small crystals so really you want them to form slowly so you can tell what shape they are and we put it onto a dark surface it'll be easier for you to see so here it is on our chemistry lab book here and there you can start to see that we are getting crystals and if you have a look very closely with a, a lens or a magnifying glass or a, a microscope, uh, you'll be able to detect the shape of these crystals because they're crystals of sodium chloride, they are cubic. So you should be able to see cubic crystals with a hand lens uh, or a, a microscope. So here it's been left for a few hours now and uh, not very clear in this video, but the crystals are cubic. Hope you've enjoyed it and uh, see you in the next video.